And now at 10, COVID in schools is causing chaos for parents all across our area. Tonight, Fox 46's Lindsay Klein takes a look at what districts are now doing to handle the rising case count and how it's impacting local families. It's just really frustrating. COVID is certainly making its mark in classrooms all across the area. I'm fearful that this is not going to end anytime soon. The virus has been creating chaos this school year and it just started. Last Friday, there were two positive cases in the high school, 41 people quarantine because of it. Numbers are rising, prompting schools across the area to rethink the rules they're implementing. But another major problem here comes with how school districts are quarantining their kids. My child in elementary school is terrified not to wear a mask because he doesn't want to be quarantined. Kristen Petrus has three kids in Union County schools, two high schoolers and an elementary student. There, masks are optional. So there is a lot of quarantining being done in high school. And unfortunately, my daughter is already in quarantine after the fourth day of school. So basically, if you're close to someone who tests positive for COVID in the classroom, you're out for 14 days, whether you're masked up or not. The most frustrating is the fact that there is no there's no teaching. There is no, there is no remote learning. So basically if you're quarantined, you're not really getting an education. You are not, no. And that's what's very frustrating. The Lancaster County School District is now surveying parents to determine if there might be an interest in offering a fully virtual option for the remainder of the 2021-22 school year. Petrus says that's an option she wishes Union County would give parents too. Make some changes so that these kids can be in school. And if they're not going to do that, then they need to come up with remote learning and virtual learning. Lindsay Klein, Fox 46 Charlotte. Now, parents who want to complete that Lancaster County school survey for virtual learning should do so no later than noon Monday, September 13th. That survey is now open. You can find a link to it in this story on Fox46.com.